The best center build in NBA 2K25 is here. The 99 overall dunk attribute is by far the most overpowered center rating that you can possibly have in the game. You can dunk the ball every single time with this build, and on top of that, you will literally snag every single board because you're going to be 7 foot 1 with a 78 vertical. If you guys have seen the most recent video of teaching you guys how to dunk the ball every single time with the 99 attribute and showing you how overpowered it is, then you guys know I'm about to give you that build. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out after you watch the build. So today I'm going to give you guys three different variations of this build. The first one is going to be the variation that I am currently using. That is for the twos and threes because I do not play a lot of fives. Then I'm going to give you guys a variation of the seven foot one with a 99 stand dunk that is meant for the fives. And then lastly, I'm going to give you a variation that's not quite as good at the very end. For those of you guys that do not have your cap breakers yet, and you're not looking to make a build for cap breakers because you don't think you're going to hit it. But first, for your speed, you're going to set this to a 62. And then your agility is going to go to a 43. Strength is going to go all the way up to a 92. And then your vertical is going to be all the way up to a 78. Now, after you've done that, we're going to go up to the very top category, which is our finishing. This is the most important category on this build. For close shot, we're going to get a 92 close shot, which gives us that gold paint prodigy. We're not really worried about hook specialist or float game, but that gold paint prodigy is very useful. And for our driving dunk, we're going to get ourselves an 82 driving dunk. As you can see, the layup's going to go up with it, so we're stuck with a 62 layup, but we get an 82 driving dunk. Now, you may be asking, Hollywood, why did you go with an 82 driving dunk? This is so that we can get that JaVale McGee dunk package, that overpowered, unstoppable dunk package that everybody is talking about. If you guys haven't checked it out, check out my most recent video with the 99 stand dunk, and you will see the JaVale McGee package in action. Now, for our standing dunk, because we are cap breakering our dunk to a 99, we're going to be doing a 94 here, and then we will cap breaker it with the plus five to get the 99 standing dunk, which will give us legend rise up. Now, for close shot, because this is a post score style build on the twos and threes, we will be going with a 77 close shot. Now, you may be like, yo, Hollywood, 77 close shot. How are you going to be a post score with this? The answer is I am. I lost to a guy named Remiana who was actually number three in the world at the time, and all he had was a 77 post control. I was on a build with a 94 interior and a 94 block. This guy was still able to drop stop me every time. Now, he was not able to post spin me every single time, but he was able to still get that position under the rim with the 77 post control, that bare minimal post control, and dunk the ball every single time. He went eight for eight all standing contact poster dunks because of his 99 standing dunk. So shout out to Remy Anna for basically destroying me and putting me onto this build. Now, this is an inside center, so we're not going to be touching that mid-range or that free throw right now, and that's going to do it for our finishing. So let's talk a little bit about how good this finishing is. As you can see by these clips, I am able to get a dunk every single time I am under the rim. All you have to do is be patient, let your player square up with the rim, and dunk the ball. The 99 stand dunk does the work for you. You don't need to worry about getting those close shots and those messed up layup timings because that 90-90 dunk... Because that 99 dunk is going to allow you to dunk literally every single time. I get a dunk 9 out of 10 times, and when I do miss, it's probably because they made me miss a dunk, which happens quite a bit in this game. If you guys don't know how to dunk with the square button, it's simply right trigger, square, and point your left stick towards the rim. Don't worry about meter dunking in this game because Joe knows broke the game, the meter dunk last year. They actually made meter dunking not needed this year. You're able to just dunk every time with square. So this build really thrives in the finishing with the driving dunks, the standing dunks, your post control, and your close shot. You do have that 92 close shot that allows you when you don't get a dunk to still be able to make all of your shots because of that gold paint prodigy. On this build, I would recommend using your plus one on like post powerhouse or post up poet or even to get silver unpluckable. Let's move to the next category, which is going to be pass accuracy, ball handle and speed with ball. For the pass accuracy, we're going to go with the bare minimal pass accuracy that you need in this game, which is a 55 pass. Act. This gives us bronze dimer and that way we don't throw 
passes that are completely in the mud and they're still able to get to our open man on the floor. If you guys stay tuned to the very end of the video though, I will give you a different variation of this build that is meant for fives and even the threes. You're gonna need some pass accuracy for those places on the floor. But for this specific build, this is meant for Proving Gowns 2v2, and I can stop all the post scores because of all the interior and block that I get. This build really doesn't shine much in the pass accuracy ball handle speed with golf category, but we do get enough pass accuracy to get by. Let's go to the next category, which is our interior defense. Now for interior defense, we're going to get a 93 interior defense. This gives us Hall of Fame post lockdown, which in my opinion, honestly, isn't needed. But I am going to be playing the twos, playing a lot of posts. So I'm going to leave it on 93 for the time being. And that's actually what I made my current build with a 93. But for all those at home that don't think they need a 93 interior, drop that all the way down to an 82. But for the time being, we're going to go with a 93 interior on this build. Then for our steel, we're going to get a 60 steel which allows us to have bronze interceptor. We could even plus that one and get silver interceptor, which will allow us to get lanes on defense. Being a 7-1, it's going to be pretty easy to get lanes because you are so big and you can play almost everywhere on the floor in those passing lanes. Then for your block, you're going to get a 74 block. This is the bare minimal for block animations. Blocks really don't exist against the close shot glitch, so I'm not too worried about having a 74 block or a 93 block. I have three seven foot builds in this game and 74 block feels no different than 99 block. I have 74 block, I have 84 block, and I have 99 block on my builds. And honestly, 74 has felt just as good as 99. Okay, now we're onto the offensive rebound and defensive rebound category of this build. This build really shines on the rebound. We're gonna move our offensive board all the way up to a 96, which will give us a bare minimal defensive rebound of 81. Now we're left with some final ticks here that we can throw into free throw if we do wanna play fives, and we'll be able to get a 77 free throw. But let's talk about the rebounding. As you can see, we get a 96 O board, which will give us our Hall of Fame box out beast, gold pogo, and Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Then we're gonna put those extra ticks into that defensive rebound, which gives us a 96 O board with an 84 D board. And then we're gonna drop those last ticks onto our perimeter defense so we can still somewhat move laterally on perimeter. Now, the rebounding on this build is just like the dunk. This build is great at dunking and great at rebounding. You will snag every single miss with a 96 O board, a 78 vertical, and that long seven foot 10 wingspan with the seven foot one height. The rebounding on this build feels better than any build that I've made in the game. I made a seven footer that had a 99 rebound and it still did not rebound like the 7-1 with the 7-10 wingspan. The height and the wingspan definitely play a major part into snagging rebounds on NBA 2K25. You will grab every single offensive board and literally still be able to grab every single defensive rebound because you still have the Hall of Fame rebound chaser with that 84 defensive rebound. And it's gonna be called a paint beast. But let's back up real quick and we're going to show you guys the other two variations that I promised you in the beginning of the video. So now I'm going to give you guys the variation of this build that you would use in a 5v5 setting specifically. So for 5v5, you're going to want to drop that interior like we talked about earlier all the way down to an 84. And then your strength would actually drop down to a 91. So you still get gold brick wall. Your defensive rebound is going to go down to an 81. Then you're going to take those ticks off of your perimeter and drop your perimeter fully down to a 36. Now we're only a 96 overall out of 99. We're going to take these extra overall attributes that we got and we're going to dump those into pass accuracy. That way we can grab rebounds and throw deep outlet passes. As you can see right now, I've got an 82 pass sack, but that's still not quite what I would like for the 5v5 setting. So we're gonna go up to our post control and we're actually gonna drop this all the way down to a 67. Now this is gonna give us some more overall and we're gonna be able to upgrade our pass accuracy once again to an 87 pass sack, which gives us that gold break starter and that gold dimer. And then we're gonna jump our free throw all the way up here to a 70. So now we're sitting with a 70 free throw and an 87 pass sack, which makes this build much more viable in a 5v5 setting. Now, if you still feel a little bit worried about the perimeter defense to be able to play lanes, you're gonna be able to just dump those extra ticks and get a 56 perimeter defense, which isn't gonna give you anything but you will feel faster laterally while holding L2. And then drop that final tick into the speed with ball. And we're going to finalize that as our 5v5 seven foot one center. We get now get shades of Clint Capella, Rudy Gobert, and Steven Adams. The build is now going to be called an interior scoring playmaker. 
for all those that want to add pass accuracy for a 5v5 set. Okay, so we're going to be super quick to finalize this. With all those that do not plan on getting cap breakers, my, my 9 to 5ers that don't grind the game all day, this is going to be a version of the build that will allow you to get a 99 standing dunk without having cap breakers. So we're going to put our close shot to a 92. Once again, that gives that, that gold paint prodigy. And then our standing dunk is going to go obviously all the way up to that 99. And our post control is going to go to a 77. Our interior defense is going to go all the way up to an 82. Our pass accuracy will go up to a 55. Our steal is going to go up to a 60. Our block is going to go up to a 74. Our O board once again will go all the way up to a 96. Our strength is going to jump all the way up to a 91. Our vertical will go up to a 78. And then our speed is going to go up to a 62. And we're not left with much to work with after that. This is going to be all a personal preference setting. My personal preference will be to get that extra 92 strength and dump the rest of these onto my defensive rebound and my perimeter defense. You guys can do however you feel though with that. Once again, this is a build for those that do not plan on getting cap breakers. That's going to give us shades of Wilt Chamberlain, Clint Capella, Steven Adams, and the build's going to be called an interior force. And the build's going to be called an interior enforcer. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and check out the most recent video that it teaches you guys how to use a 99 stand-up.